six inches. What kind of memories does that leave in your mind? You may be sitting there giggling or have a smile on your face, but not for me. My story is it's a six inch scar from a severe complication that I had with a pregnancy. My husband and I got married 30 years ago and we blended two families. We each had a child, but we wanted one more to complete our new family. Within a year, I had lost two pregnancies, two miscarriages. Within six months, I was sitting at work, not feeling well. Off to the hospital I went. They did an ultrasound and it was not good. Straight to the OR with me. And what they found was my pregnancy never left my tube. My tube actually burst in, in the surgery. My third loss. Let's fast forward to 2019. I wasn't feeling well. I was lethargic. I lost my muscle tone. Lost 30 pounds in six months. What was wrong with me? My friend came to my rescue after me not having success with three doctors. She said, let's try epigenetic testing. Well, I trusted her because she had success for herself and her son using this uh, method of medical care. So I did my testing and wasn't I surprised and saddened at the same time when I read the results that I had a gene that is associated with pregnancy losses amongst other genes that needed some uh, supplementation. So we tested my husband. He too ended up having this gene. So what did that mean? We both needed to be on additional supplementation that our bodies needed to feed our DNA properly to have a life, healthy lifespan. But why was my body deteriorating so much? My results had to um, include more testing. And what they found was they had this little parasite. It was like a little gremlin and invisible to the eye, eating away at my muscles in my body from the inside out. I was put on a four month strict detox and strict diet, no sugars as it would feed those little gremlins. From there, I wanted to find how I could help others so that they can know what nutrition they needed for their DNA blueprint so they could live a healthier life. And I found it from a friend of mine who was doing nutritional genomics. She was a godsend to me. And now I know from after having both types of testing, because nutritional genomics is all about how your body absorbs the nutrition you put into it, where the epigenetics is about your environment and your behaviors and how that affects your genes. So now with DNA health testing or nutritional genomics, we can help you to find the right nutrition for your body so that you can live the healthiest lifespan and, and keep your, your DNA healthy so that you can live the best life that you can. But what else can you find out? There's environmental factors that, um, like smoke, uh, other chemicals in the air, this all changes your DNA. Some foods like nightshades and uh, high histamine foods that change mine. So if you don't know why you're not feeling good sometime, if you've got family health issues or pre-diagnoses or or maybe you're having struggles with conception, I have totally recommend epigenetic testing and or nutritional genomics testing. It could save your life, the life of your unborn, and help your family to be the healthiest they can be.